Welcome back everybody for day 63. Today I did a quick lesson on tone bar pressure. Without enough downward pressure, the strings of the pedal steel rattle out and sound kind of nasty. Paul Franklin recommends applying as little pressure necessary to the bar to get a clean sound to be prepared to move the bar up and down the frets as needed. He also says the key to nailing tone bar pressure is to apply even bar pressure to the center of the bar at all times. A player achieves a clean sound through center bar pressure by sliding the bar perpendicularly across the strings of the pedal steel instead of leaving it motionless to cover all the strings at once. There are two main reasons to move the bar across the strings. First, to view the frets to properly intonate notes, and second, to avoid the inevitable bottom of the bar application of pressure. Looking back at my older videos and practice sessions, I realize I've needed to correct both of these pitfalls because I didn't learn to move the bar across the strings to apply even pressure. Instead, I was simply leaving the bar in contact with all the other strings and found myself trying to look around the bar to figure out if I was over a fret. So from here on out, I'll practice applying even pressure to the center of the bar and moving the bar perpendicular to the strings to maintain a clean sound. Drop a like on this video if you're following along with my pedal steel journey, or if you knew the basics of tone bar pressure I mentioned in this video. Here's a snapshot of my notes on this section of Paul's course. Thanks for watching, and as always, play every day.